liberal viewer present. So I was happy to see earlier this month the director of White House Communications, Anita Dunn, telling the truth about Fox News in an interview with Howard Kurtz on his great CNN media analysis show, Reliable Sources, that included her analysis of the Fox News coverage of the 2008 presidential race that will be familiar to viewers of my videos from last year that you can see in this clip. If we went back a year ago to the fall of 2008, to the campaign, that, you know, it was a time this country was in two wars, that we'd had a financial collapse probably more significant than any financial collapse since the Great Depression. If you were a Fox News viewer in the fall election, what you would have seen would have been that the biggest stories and biggest threats facing America were a guy named Bill Ayers and something called Acorn. Mm, and Anita Dunn didn't stop with that criticism of Fox News story selection, but also went on to give the honest, more general assessment of the overall function of Fox News that you can see here. Fox News often operates almost as either the research arm or the communications arm of the Republican Party. And it's not ideological. I mean, obviously, there are many commentators who are conservative, liberal, centrist, and everybody understands that. What I think is, is fair to say about Fox, and certainly the way we view it, is that it really is more a wing of the Republican Party. And what was most heartening to hear from this Democratic media professional was the recognition that Fox News is often not even deserving of the label news at all, as you can see in this clip. Let's be realistic here, Howie. Let's you know, they are, they're widely viewed as, you know, a part of the Republican Party. Take their talking points, put them on the air. Take their opposition research, put them on the air, and that's fine. But let's not pretend they're a news network the way CNN is. Uh, and just in case anyone thought this honesty about the nature of Fox News was just a rogue operation from the outgoing communications director, the point was emphasized again last weekend by no less a figure than David Axelrod, a senior advisor to Obama and a member of his inner circle, who appeared on ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos and responded to a comment quoted from Rupert Murdoch that White House discussion of Fox News bias increases Fox News ratings by making this point. Mr. Murdoch has, a, uh, has a, a, a talent for making money, and I understand that their programming is geared toward uh, making money. All, the only argument Anita was making is that they're not really a news station. If you watch even, it's not just their commentators, but a lot of their news programming, it's really not news. It's pushing a point of view. And the bigger thing is that uh, uh, other news organizations like yours uh, ought not to treat them that way, and we're not going to treat them that way. We're going to appear on their shows. Uh, we're going to participate, but understanding that they represent a point of view. Ha, huh, you gotta love it when top members of the Obama administration are willing to speak with that level of honesty, but as you might expect, reactions over at Fox News to Anita Dunn's comments were not as honest, because instead of using those comments as an opportunity to take a hard look at the level of bias on Fox News, the main Fox News story covering the comments last week came from James Rosen, the guy who tops my Fox News bias playlist with the obituary of Kurt Vonnegut that turned into a political hatchet job, and instead of reporting Anita Dunn's comments as being about Fox News and its bias, he tried to reframe the story as being about White House attacks on the media in general, even going so far as to compare a denial of Fox News' presidential interview requests until after December with the excesses of the Nixon administration, as you can see in this clip. This order to freeze out a leading news organization is similar to those that President Nixon infamously directed at the New York Times. New York Times is not cut off. Uh, now, turning a story about Fox News bias into a story about Obama being supposedly Nixonian kind of proves the point that Anita Dunn and David Axelrod were making, but the level of denial at Fox News seems too high to even consider the truth of these charges, instead reacting again with the obliviousness exemplified by that master of factless spin Bill O'Reilly that you can see here. Our hard news coverage is fair and balanced, ladies and gentlemen. And again, if somebody doesn't believe that, let's see the evidence. Because bloviating walks. Of course, there's a mountain of evidence of Fox News bias from a lot of professional sources like Media Matters and Brave New Films, and from me personally, because I know I've sent many videos to Fox News and the O'Reilly Factor over the years showing exactly the evidence for which Bill O'Reilly is asking. My Fox News bias playlist has over 90 videos showing not only a pattern of ideological bias on the so-called straight news programs, but also many examples of spin that misrepresents the facts in Bill O'Reilly's so-called no-spin zone. But maybe my lone emails have gotten lost in that big Fox News inbox, which is why this time I'm asking you, my viewers, to help me out, not just by rating and favoriting this video, though that's always helpful, but also by sending this video to O'Reilly at FoxNews.com, 
either by using the share or send video links below this video player if you're signed into a YouTube account or just by sending your own email to O'Reilly at foxnews.com and including a link to my whole Fox News Bias playlist that's easily available at tinyurl.com slash foxnewsbias and if enough of you email in my video or my Fox News Bias playlist someone somewhere at Fox News has got to get the message I think but I want to know what you think. Will you email this video or my Fox News Bias playlist to O'Reilly at foxnews.com? And whether you participate or not, will my video documentation of the consistent pattern of ideological bias at Fox News change any minds over there, or is the so-called fair and balanced network impervious to the facts? I, YouTube, you decide.